Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is October 6th and this is my weekly shop update. Now there's a lot of things that I want to touch on today, a lot of little things going on for me in the shop. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to mention this week, it's not really woodworking related, but I did work on it in the shop, was I finally got a chance to replace the rear handle on my chainsaw. Uh, the last time I was out in the woods, which was back in August, which is the day I recorded that um, uh, Day in the Woods video, we actually ran over the back of my chainsaw with the four-wheeler and broke the handle off. So I spent some time this week actually replacing that and I have a new handle here on my chainsaw, which is awesome, so I can start using that again. I did record the whole process of me taking the handle off and putting a new one on. It's not that involved, I guess, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna post it or not. Um, but if anything, if I do, I think it'll be really good for, for you or for whoever's out there not just to change the chainsaw handle because that's not that's pretty specific I think the bigger goal there would be basically some basics on small engine repair obviously this is not as intense as doing a complete rebuild of an engine but it does give you some insight onto how these things go together because they have to come apart <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is my cutting board stack here I spent some time this week and I went through and I flattened all of them uh, it took me probably a little over an hour to do I'm not really sure. I was kind of working on it on and off. I was on a hangout with some other woodworkers most of that night. So I was kind of working on doing a few at a time, just back and forth between the chat and the, um, the flattening. That kind of helped to break up the monotony of it. Uh, but I did flatten, I think there were like 26 of them. I got them all flat and ready to go. And I actually did take a couple of them through the entire finishing process, or almost all the way through the entire finishing process. So I sanded, I finished sanded all of the faces and sides. I added a chamfer to the edges and I also routed in some little, little handholds or little, little grippies or whatever to grab the board. Right now I'm at the stage where I applied my first application of finish. Uh, it's more than one coat the way I apply this stuff and it's end grain, it just soaks it in. So it's really more like six coats on this first one. And then I'll go back and I'll apply one final coat just to even everything out and this will be done ready to go two of those boards at that stage and then I have the rest of these boards right here <laughs> and I forgot to grab that drawer didn't I I did I'll be right back so the thing that I'm most excited for this week is I finally got back into working on my secretary desk uh, I just kind of went over there and I grabbed one of the drawers that wasn't finished yet and I put that together so now I have two completed drawers here or this one's one of them the rest the other ones in the desk and then I got the dovetails I got the sides dovetailed into the larger bottom drawer. So besides the drawers, I also spent some time selecting the stock from the upper case of the secretary. I have a few boards like this one, uh, all sequentially out of the same log that I'm going to use for that upper case. And I believe these boards are from the same tree as the lower case, so I should get a pretty good match that way. And I also have a lot of the offcuts still from doing the case sides and the top from the bottom portion of the desk. So those pieces there will become parts of the uppercase as well. So those will become shelves and dividers and things like that. As you can tell, I'm really excited to get back into this project. Uh, it's been, I think I started it over a year ago now, just been kind of working on it on and off. And I'm feeling like I have this great motivation to get back in and get a lot of work done. So since I haven't done an update on this video, and probably a lot of you haven't seen the desk itself, let me move the camera over there and I'll show you guys kind of where I'm at and where I hope to go with it. All right, so for those who aren't familiar, this is the desk that I've been working on. Open it up, and those drawers that I showed you were part of the gallery, which is inside this drop top here, the drop front. Uh, back, in, back in July, I had just completed this one drawer here, and then the drawer that I showed today was the one that goes up in here. So the interesting thing with these small drawers in the gallery is that the front is at an angle and that causes the two sides to be different lengths. So once I finish the drawers, there's not a whole lot left to do on the desk section of the piece. Um, there's a little bit of finishing touches here and there. And the other thing with the drawers is I need to make the, or cut the profile on the outside of the piece too. You can see the, the, um, the inside right now is profiled to the same profile as these horizontal dividers. And after all the joinery is cut, I'll come back and I'll cut the outside to the same profile. So once that profile is cut on the front, it becomes part of the overall face of the gallery and the profile just kind of flows down through 
the dividers through the drawers and then all the way down to the the base piece here which is the same profile now the last thing i want to talk about this week is the patio Lindsay and i spent uh, most of the weekend out there working on it so we made a lot of progress and i'm really excited to show you because it's really at the point now where you can really get an idea of what it's going to look like so this weekend uh, Lindsay actually went ahead and she attached all the stone to this wall she did an amazing job and while she was working on all of this i was finishing up the firebox so i have all the fire brick installed and i'm ready to go to start building up the chimney so i got part of the chimney installed i have half of it done i need to build a enclosure around the rest of the chimney liner but it's going pretty fast if you come take a look from up here this is what the chimney looks like if i can get up here so there's the firebox down there there's the chimney and there's the rest of the patio So thanks as always for watching, I greatly appreciate it. And I really appreciate all the support I've received from everyone here in the woodworking community. The YouTube woodworking community is just an amazing community and I'm so happy to be part of that community. So thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos and being so supportive. And as always, if you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, please leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking.